Boomhauer with a very respectable 46. And now the boys, their partner, Sean Carroll leading us off. All over the headman. Same with Chris. Sean Carroll had a uh, had a great showing in the in the state youth uh, championships this year. We saw him at the at the banquet the other night receiving his awards. Chris Lombardo's been with us many a times in the past. Both bowlers. Nice ball by Lombardo and a spear. I remember these guys bowling against each other before, Steve. It's a, it's a, it's Man, a, it's like a the same contrasting thing. style. So you've got deliberate versus as fast as he can go. And they're both getting <laughs> tall and yeah. older. And I just know yeah. when, you know, they were in that 11 and under age group. Yeah, yeah. At one time, I think it was 10 and under. Oh, so many, so many years already. This is our sixth season. We've seen a lot of faces come and go. We get to see all the all the young ones grow up. It's a lot of fun. It's very, very rewarding. I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing on this wonderful Sunday afternoon. Lombardo, he'll uh, take a four on his spear, and it's 14 to 10 in the first frame. Yeah, Chris a little more eager. To throw his ball, oh. Carroll's a little more deliberate, takes oh. his time, a big spear, <laughs> and a nice fist pump, and a high five to his partner, anytime, Kendra Boomhauer. Anytime the last pin to fall is the head pin, I'll fist pump too. <laughs> Be a little break. Eight. This game takes away enough breaks, so you can get one, it's nice to take advantage of it. Enjoy it. It's a new format this year. It was very exciting, the first match. It went a little longer than what we expected. But we're always trying something different for the kids. We want them to enjoy their time with us. That's good to see, Sean, putting an eight on that. A lot of times you see somebody get what would be considered a lucky spare, and they don't always take advantage of it, but he really took advantage of it there. He's going for two in a row, and he's got it. Terrific shot by Chris Lombardo as well, but the wood did not help. If Carroll can make a third consecutive mark here, I have a little extra prize for them. I got boxes of giant chocolate bars. The kids are all going after the Kit Kats. This is great, because if he's not hungry, I know someone who is. <laughs> we got the big packages of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Those big straws of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Parents will love me for that. This is a all our bowlers are bowling for gift cards today. We have $50. Gift cards, Simon Mall gift cards for our champions. Oh, oh wow. And thirty dollar and twenty dollar runner up gift cards from Walmart. There's some nice nice spares being made here by these boys. Sean made an awesome attempt at his and the spinning wood just missed the five and then Chris more difficult leave and he made it. Some great scores. Cal really bowling well here. I this might be some of the best bowling I've seen. He's really gotten accurate. A little bit quicker than he was before, too. A little bit, I think. Carol's got to go here. I like his shirt there. Alley cat. He's got the alley cat lanes in That's Kingston. That's what it is. Little alley cat rolling the ball. All these kids wear their uh, shirts with their respective bowling alleys. The owners of the alley cat lanes can be very proud of Sean. He's done a great job for himself. His grandfather, Jack, has been a huge influence on Sean. Takes him everywhere. I'm sure when Sean gets to be our age, he can look back at, at that. Yeah, he's definitely, you know, he was a pretty lucky young kid there. Definitely going to have someone to thank. Lombardo, he's here with his mom and dad today. He's at 46 through 4. Carol's at 52. So a great start for all our bowlers. Carol, probably the, only the worst ball he threw right there. He settles for an 8. Nothing wrong with an 8. Lombardo with a 9, he's at 55. Carroll at 60. It's a very close match, long way to go. It's the way we like it. Boomhauer, what oh. a great ball. We've yet to see a strike. We didn't oh, see a strike at all. <laughs> Almost got one right there, Steve. <laughs> we were hoping. How often does that happen as soon as you mention it? That came as close as you could come. Boomhauer, just a couple of inches off yeah, that shot. Yeah, what a shot. Deceviak played the wood high and the ball carried over to the right 
hitting the top of the pin. I think that was the right spot to play it, personally. Sometimes the ball can jump over the pin. That was a nice shot. I liked exactly where she played it. The ball bounced right into the Eight the by Boomhauer. Giuseppeak, another spare. We're off and running. A lot of marks, a lot of smudges on the board right now. Danielle Manser and Jonathan Boudreau waiting in the wings. We'll take on the winners of this match. It's a two-string match. Actually, it's a four-string match. All our bowlers bowl two games each. Nice ball by Boomhauer. Look at ooh, ooh, ooh. I think Both Kylie Giuseppeak, Dan, owns the record on our show for most appearances uh, for the girls. Yep. And uh, Jonathan Boudreau's right up there for the boys along with uh, Steven Reno, I think. They all have a lot, all repeat bowlers, all very good bowlers. And Kendra's been with us a few times now, last year and this year. All our kids have been with us uh, quite a bit the last few years. Starting out in that 11 and under age group. Kylie finally off the head pin. She hit it every box before that one. Someday you and I will have to get together and I'll break out some of the old tapes from the first year. Maybe we can get those up on YouTube. Some classic yeah, camera pin for kids. I've always wondered if they put a limit on how many segments you can have up there. I'm up over 100 now and nobody stopped me. So. No, I don't think so. I think it's unlimited. It's great. I think the more, the more you can put on, the better for them. Because they get their sponsors. Yep. Excellent bowling by the girls. Josefiak filled that spare in the, in the six with a six. Ten. Settles for a nine box and now a ten. The tricky part about the YouTube is the ten minute limit sometimes. And, uh, you know, when you got a little yeah, like these I'd shows, like to are going to be them up there. Yeah. Because these shows are going to be 80, 90 minutes. And it means, you know, you're going to have to have eight or nine pieces. And when you name them all, you know, like it's hard for people to search them and find them because YouTube doesn't search on numbers. So it's right. really tricky sometimes. I try to find ways. <laughs> This is like the old Candlepin True Value Championship. Those shows were an hour and a half long and they were live. Mm -hmm. This is our final event of the year. A couple of nines by our ladies in the ninth frame. 82 for Boomhauer. Giuseppeak off to a great first game at 103. See if Kendra can finish with a mark. Oh, Kylie, nice big eight. Hoping that wood comes back and sets up for. Boomhauer will be looking to run the one three pocket here. Trying to run him down. There go. On the outside, the ball could have took the seven. Kylie with a nice ball. Kylie with a great ball. Always shows it. Hold on, Kendra. We got to wait for that wood. We may have to have it cleared. It doesn't look that way, though. Boom was looking all excited back there. He's our wood guy for the day. Billy Boom. Uh, yeah, Billy Boom. <laughs> Billy Boom. Boom. Billy Boom. Boom. He'll be with us next week in the older age group. A nice nine for Boomhauer. She finishes out the first game with a 91. Kylie trying to get a 120. Giuseppeak. One more pin. Filling the spare with six. Oh, all right, she's got a 120. She gets a 120. A great start by Giuseppeak in the first game. The boys are back. <laughs> Carolyn Lombardo. Carol will be looking to 